Hello everyone. Today we're going to cook Huai San Soup or San Yao. In English, we call it Chinese Yam. Here are the ingredients that we need. For the details of the ingredients, you can click the description box down below. Here I have prepared the goji berry, red dates, chicken bones, and pork meat, and Huai San, the Chinese Yam. First, we will need to peel off the skin. This Chinese yam is just like okra. It has a slightly slippery, slimy texture that lessens after cooking. The literal translation of San Yao is mountain medicine. Indeed, this root vegetable is also used as Chinese medicine or herb when it is dried. It is very popular for its potential health benefits for all ages, body types, and health conditions. Why sun has its benefit of antioxidant, lower blood sugar level, improved digestive system, and it does boost up your immune system too. Why sun is widely used by Chinese physician in various types of healing. It is good in healing liver problems, blood detoxification, hair loss, joint related issues, and to support kidneys function. Some even say that it is the most natural food to aid in men's vitality. To cook this soup, first we will need to scald the pork and the chicken bone in the boiling water for a while, and then remove and rinse it. Here I am cooking this soup using smart cooker. Cut off the two sides that we don't want. You can see this white sun is really slimy when their skin is peeled off. Especially when you are trying hard to grab it, it will leave like a eel, which is desperately trying to wriggle out of your grasp. But yeah, that is exactly how it will be. But no worries about it. The mucus like substance will disappear once it is boiled in the water. We will just need to cut this white sun into big chunks like this and put it into the pot to cook. If it is too big for you, you can also cut it into half like this. This is how it looks like after cutting. Next, we can transfer the pork into the smart cooker. After that, we will add in the red dates. Cut the red dates into half so that the sweetness of the red dates will help to sweeten the soup much more. In Chinese herbal textbooks, red dates can strengthen the spleen and stomach qi energy, which helps to digest food, tonify blood, and calm the mind. Next, we will just need to put in the goji berry. Ta-da! That's all you need for the soup. Lastly, we will just need to add in two boil of water into the smart cooker to cook. The outcome of this soup will be clear and nutritious. Next, I will just put into this smart cooker and cook for one and a half hour using the soup function. If you are using gas stove, you can also cover and bring to a boil over high heat, then simmer the soup over low heat for about one hour. After one and a half hour cooking, our soup is ready. It looks simple, but it is very nutritious soup that's suitable for both young and old. This soup is naturally infused with the mild sweetness from the fresh Chinese yam and the wolfberry and red date. I hope you like this video. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.